everyone, it's me Blanche and today I'm excited because I'm going to share with you six different ways on how you can tenderize chicken. And I'm not just talking about chicken thighs but chicken breasts as well because I get a lot of letters from people saying, how do I make chicken better? Like my family's sick of it, I want to reinvent how I make chicken and not only am I going to teach you some easy techniques, I'm going to share with you my favorite chicken pyramid recipe, which is what I call it because you stack the chicken up sort of like a pyramid right here on Feast in the Middle East. Okay, so let's start with the six tips on how to make the most tender chicken. First of all, know where you source your chicken. I like to get mine from the farmer's market or I like organic brands and I actually do research on a lot of the brands to make sure that they have good farming practices. Also make sure you are using fresh chicken because old chicken is tough chicken. Next, use a tenderizing tool. I like this one. There's a flat side and then there's a bumpy side. I like to use the flat side. I feel like it does the trick for chicken. Bumpy side is for more tougher cuts of meat like steaks. The cool part about this is you can really take out your aggravation. So, like, so when I'm doing this, I definitely get all of my aggravation pent up. So it's better to do this while you're pissed off. When you're using this tool to tenderize chicken, please make sure to put plastic wrap over the chicken. Otherwise, you're gonna have chicken bits decorating your walls. It'll be like a Texas chicken chainsaw massacre. Say that fast, five times. Number three, marinate your chicken in either buttermilk or yogurt. I like to use Greek yogurt. This is my favorite brand for marinating chicken. Doesn't matter if it's full fat, no fat, whatever you got. Just don't use vanilla or strawberry yogurt because that'll be weird. The yogurt has acids that break down the chicken, so if you marinate it overnight, even tougher cuts like chicken breast become super tender the next day. And that leads me to number four. Make sure the chicken is marinated minimally two hours overnight, preferably, because that'll ensure the most tender chicken the next day. This is a good time to infuse the yogurt with lots of spices, which I'm gonna share with you in the recipe. Whatever spices you like will be infused into the chicken meat with the yogurt overnight. Number five, how you cook the chicken is important. If you have a spit roaster, great. A lot of air fryers have spit roasters, which actually baste the chicken with their own fat. What I'm gonna do is do a makeshift shawarma spit, which I do over an onion. And I use one of these skewers, this is wooden. Make sure you actually soak the wooden skewer in water for at least 30 minutes, that way it won't burn in the oven. So what I do is I stick the skewer into an onion and then layer the chicken pieces on top. That way the onion juice spills out into the chicken, flavoring it that much more. Bonus is you get to eat the onion afterwards. And the final tip, if you do cook chicken with this method I'm about to show you or using a spit roaster, do not cut the chicken or any kind of meat for 15 minutes because if you do, all the juices are gonna leach right out and you wanna make it as juicy as possible. So now that you have all the tips and tricks, let's make our chicken pyramid right now. Okay, to get started, I use a half a cup of Greek yogurt, full fat, non-fat, all fat, it's all good. Use a third cup of extra virgin olive oil. I got a discount code of 10% off off harvestpeace.com, my favorite brand. Next, I add a teaspoon of allspice, followed by a half a teaspoon of coriander, then one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, and then one teaspoon of garlic powder. Finish it off with about a teaspoon of salt and pepper to taste. Would you believe that is the hardest part of making this marinade? Now all you have to do is stir it all up and set it aside while you prep your chicken. Now to pound your chicken, all you need is some BPA-free plastic wrap and take your mallet and just pound each side gently. Toss all the chicken with the marinade and put it in the refrigerator for two hours minimum and overnight maximum. And that's about it. For an easy DIY shawarma stand, I just took an onion, flattened both sides, put a skewer in there, and all you do is pile the chicken pieces all the way up the skewer. Bake at 400 degrees for about 45 minutes and you are all set. Thank you for joining me on my outdoor picnic today. It's just me and my chicken and I don't need much more than that to make me happy. 
So you can do these in individual portions or make one large one, but I like to do individual portions because if you stack it too high, it'll fall in the oven. It didn't take much to slice the chicken up and I put chicken breast in some of this. So this is chicken breast right here, but look at the texture. Uh, it really browned nicely, but it's not going to be tough whatsoever. Of course, flavor is everything, so let's give it a try. Mm. I sort of used a shawarma spice mix. If you're too lazy to mix up those spices, you could always use a mix of spices. So they have shawarma spice mixes out up there on the market. You could use, uh, there's a seven spice mix that's really popular by Arab cooks. You could use that as well. Of course, if you don't want to cook it this way, you can barbecue it now. I'm so excited. The weather's getting warmer. I'm spending more time outdoors. And so dishes like this really come in handy because I could prep it the day before, have it ready for the family the day after. It's great for entertaining. It's ridiculously easy. Thank you for joining me, guys. I really, really appreciate your support. 60,000 subscribers, that's no joke. I appreciate every single one of you. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Of course, give me your suggestions on what else you'd like to see on the show because I do listen. Until next time, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.